Hello everyone, this is Dana, and we are out doing a little flight scene in Fox, Alaska today. So we're out here to check out this remarkable vehicle, the Latorno V22 Snow Freighter. Now this vehicle is a truly one of a kind. It's kind of an overland uh, train, and it was built to pull large uh, cargo of freight through the tundra in the winter conditions. In the 1950s, the Alaska Freight Company had this vehicle purpose-built. The Alaska Freight Company had won a contract to transport construction materials to the distant early warning line, and this uh, was a line of radar stations in the far north of Alaska and Canada, so they needed a vehicle capable of crossing frozen tundra, really harsh terrain, and it had to be uh, capable, according to the contract, of operating at negative 68 below. The snow freighter was powered by two Cummings V12 diesel engines operating at 400 horsepower each. These engines drove 24 electric motors, one for each meal on the locomotive and the trailing cars. Each of these cars uh, it measures 40 feet in length and is 16 feet wide, and they could carry 30 tons for a combined payload of 150 tons, and at full length the snow freighter 274 feet long. The snow freighter was used just twice, its first trip in 1955, and its second trip was in the fall of 1956, where unfortunately it was jackknifed near Eagle, Alaska, and the engines caught fire. It ended up having to be pulled back to its current location here next to the Steese Highway in Fox, Alaska.